Okay, now we've made all our connections on the bottom of the board, uh, we can actually sit this, um, well what's currently a mess, <laughs> uh, back into our, um, into the bottom of the chassis. So, as I was saying before, you need to think about where your cables and that are going to go. And you don't want to, you don't want to have them running, say, um, over this or anywhere that the cables are going to get crushed once the, um, the board's actually back in. So because I've made my wiring nice and long, and I'm going to trim it up again soon, um, there's actually already a little outlet here, and that's where I'm actually going to have my wiring pop out. There we go. Our ball sits down nice and neat, it's, uh, no cables going to get crushed there. And um, then we can just route them over to our sockets. Okay, so time to build this little uh, video circuit. Now I've got a transistor here that um, I'm going to use. And with this I've pulled the legs apart so it's nice, nice and easy to see what we're doing. So our 5 volts needs to come in through this leg. Our Luma needs to come in, which is from pin 16, into the centre leg, and this leg here we're going to add a 27 ohm resistor to, and then that'll carry on out to our S-Video socket. Okay, so let's quickly put that together. So we've just got to solder on our white, well in my case white wire, we may use a different colour, onto our centre leg. Just like that. That's our Luma. Once you've got the first wire done, it makes it a bit easier because it'll hold it down for you. So now we're just going to attach the uh, wire from the fire box. Seven ohm resistor. Okay, we just solder this onto the last leg. Alright. There we go. And then all we do. Uh, just slip our heat shrink back up into place. And um, you can actually use the, um, the soldering iron if you want to carefully melt that down. Um, I, however, happen to have a butane torch. So I'm just going to very gently heat up one of these. Okay, so that's two leads insulated, and the last one, um, just do now. Don't 
that on for shorts. Down, so I'm off the base. Okay, and that is our little wee video amplifier ready. And if you really want, um, you can encase this in some maybe some hot glow, or um, in my case, I'm actually going to put a bit more heat shrink over the whole lot, so that way it's nice and protected. together nice and tight as it should. Let's push that over there like that. And again. Easier. Right, for this we need a 220 microfarad capacitor. There we are, 220 microfarad. As you can see, this one's a 16 volt one, and this is polarized, and that's actually important. And I'll show you why in a second. Um, the other thing you need is a 75 ohm. Is this? It's very important that you note which way around these go. This one, as you can see, has got a big stripe down the side of it with dashes down it. This is the negative side, and the negative leg, see here, it needs to go out to your S video socket. You can't, it's, you've really got to make sure you get it the right way around. So your positive leg, goes on the end of the lead that's going off to your uh, video processor. So we'll just quickly get that soldered on there. Right, and now we just need to, on the negative leg, add our 75 ohm resistor. video socket. Okay, now we're just going to put some uh, heat shrink down on here and that's actually going to go over the resistor in our leg. That's it. Now we're ready to actually attach to our socket. So we've got our chroma all done and we've got our luma ready to go. The red wire that I attached to pin 20 um, on the Sony video chip and just gonna put a bit of heat shrink on there. Um, and we're gonna attach it to our capacitor again. Um, this one is a 
220 microfarad, 16 volt, same as what we used before. And again, you've got to make sure that the positive leg goes towards the There we go, sold it onto the positive leg of the capacitor and now we just need to get one of our 75 ohm resistors. Okay, we're just going to solder the resistor onto the negative leg. So there, slide that over. Just get our butane torch. And just gently heat up our heat shrink so it shrinks down and holds on. And that's that really. Um, we just need to heat this one up and then uh, it's ready to go into our sockets. So I'm actually going to thread this into all of the grounds. And what I can do now So as a last step, now that we've sold everything up, um, what I also like to do is I actually go down, you know, I'm not sure whether you can really see it or not, but I actually put a nice little coating of um, hot glue over everything to make sure it stays nice and secure in place. And as you can see, my cables are just tucked up underneath the connectors, um, so that way they're out of the way. And you've just got one line of cable that comes out from the drive, and that way you can neatly fold that and under the tin shielding and put it all back together and start enjoying. So I'll just wait for this glue to set and then uh, I'll put the machine back together and we'll give it a test. Okay, so we've got our machine all back together and we just try our composite and find a cartridge. Let's quickly try Harry's video. 